It's a beautiful sunny morning here in the centre of London. Uh, I'm delighted to join my colleagues here this morning, the SNP MPs, who for the last two years have been the real and the only effective opposition to the Conservatives in the House of Commons. And today we state our clear intention. We intend to win this election in Scotland and for Scotland. Because now, more than ever, Scotland needs strong voices. Uh, yesterday, it became clear beyond any doubt that for Theresa May, party comes before country. For months, the Prime Minister has said that a snap early general election was, in her view, the last thing that the country needed. Now was not the time, she said, to be distracted from the job at hand. But yesterday she changed her mind, not for the good of the country, but for reasons of simple party advantage. Her motive is clear. She knows that as the terms of her hard Brexit become clearer, then the deep misgivings that so many people already have will increase and grow. So she's decided to act now in an attempt to crush the parliamentary opposition that she faces. Now, the self-inflicted weakness of the Labour Party has given the Prime Minister her excuse. But the SNP has a very different plan. We are determined that Scotland's voice will be heard and heard loudly and clearly. Since 2010, we have seen the damage that this Tory government has done, first with no majority of its own and then with a small majority. So we should be in no doubt what a Tory government with an increased majority would mean. It would mean not just the hardest possible Brexit, but also further austerity and deeper cuts. It would mean damage to our precious public services and more pain for the vulnerable. And it would mean a rightward shift in the governance of the UK of the nature that just a few years ago UKIP could scarcely have dreamed of. So the SNP in this election will, as we always do, stand up for Scotland. A vote for the SNP is a vote to protect Scotland's interests. Only the SNP stands between Scotland and an increasingly hardline Tory government. It is a vote to end austerity and for investment in our public services. And it is a vote to ensure that the future of Scotland is decided not here at Westminster, but in Scotland by the people of Scotland. And make no mistake, if the SNP wins this election in Scotland and the Tories don't, then Theresa May's attempt to block our mandate, to give the people of Scotland a choice over their own future when the time is right, will crumble to dust. So this is an election that has been called in the narrow party interests of the Tories. But it is nevertheless an election in which we are determined to put the interests of Scotland centre stage. And we are, as you can see, raring to go. So I'm now happy to take a couple of questions before my colleagues have to get back into the chamber to do their job at Scottish Questions. Well, that was the uh, Scottish First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, speaking this hour.